I was really uh, proud of Rick for s suggesting that we come to Ross um, and kind of being the spiritual leader of our home. And um, it's kind of outside the norm of what Rick would normally do as far as saying, hey, let's do this. And I loved the leadership that I saw um, building within Rick. And um, I was only glad to follow and we've been so happy here. Well, we made a shaken commitment um, by uh, prayerfully considering what God would want us to do. And we felt that the financial part of it was um, kind of an easy decision for us, really. We just decided together that um, this is what we want to do. We're all in here at White Oak. And um, we, I particularly, and we talked about this, I love the idea of uh, repurposing the space over coal rain and utilizing it in the community and our fields um, at Ross. Um, I, we thought that, boy, that's some really, really nice initiatives and uh, we just want to be all in. And so, and then Rick came up with the idea of, you know, just advertising it. He actually even put the QR code on the plane too. <laughs> I think that this is, that's another example with Shaken. Go ahead and give, pray about it, include God in your um, commitment, talk to your husband, your wife about it, make a, a commitment, do it together, and um, you know, we're all here for you. I think that's what it is, it's a commitment. Yeah. You commit to it, and no matter how small or how big it is, if you commit to it, then you will feel it in here that you are giving for a good cause. I race planes nationally, so it's a conversation starter. I'm not one to start conversations, but if I have something asked a question or in common about it, I will answer them. And I am taking it to nationals in July. And I will be flying it in the, that's the electric class. I fly in four different classes. That plane does about 120 miles an hour. It's uh, very competitive and I hope to win. <laughs> <laughs> this plane has not been to any races. Actually, brand new. This, this, it, it's kind of brand new now. Started, I thought, ah, I need to put something to show that I'm a Christian on my plane. So I started putting a cross on the bottom of the planes. And when you race pylon, you race it with the wings perpendicular to the ground. So people on the outside of the pylon course can see the bottom of the plane most of the race. So I got it so the cross is upright on the bottoms of the plane. God gives everybody certain gifts, and um, one of the one of my gifts is using what skills I have to help other people. And um, I've my journey of working throughout life has been: I was a mechanic, so I used to work on people's cars for hardly anything, and I I just like giving of whatever gifts God has given me. So that's kind of goes along with the shaken journey where I like to give back what God has given me. You know, I, I think that being strong through the shaken initiative, um, it's been the three of us all along, God, Rick, and myself. And I think since we are very well aware that God is in charge of this whole thing, it, it really, I wouldn't say that it's been a hardship for us and for that, we're very grateful. I know that a lot of people go through hardships. Um, I believe that um, Rick and I have faith to jump in, go all in um, with this and um, you know, stretch ourselves and God will handle the rest. He's right there with us. So I believe that um, as far as hardships so far, we I don't know that we have really felt any pain through all of this. It's only been all good. We've had, a, we've had a lot of changes, so, yeah. you know, me retiring yeah, and her having her own business, you never know where yeah, the income that's going to go. In, <laughs> income is volatile, but we kind of place it in the Lord's hands and 
he will provide. So uh, there's a lot of unsureness, but we have faith. <laughs>